What's up, dumb morning ladies? My name is Chaz, and welcome to the What If Deku. Or, no, just kidding. It's What If Custom Harns. Or, or should I say, welcome to his Custom Harn Reviews. So, yeah. Just giving you cred. So, so in this video, I will go over the the archetype called Donut Beasts. It's a basically a supposed to be a level monster. It's basically like Arm Dragon Level Seven or Arm Dragon Level Three. But me, I he took things a little bit differently. So. Oh, well, yeah. Like, I kind of used, like, different monsters. And, yeah. Basically, basically, what I mean by different monsters is that the, the like, I used Hippo Croc. Huh? The helper is basically... I'll give you a short version. He helps... Um... Ums by... <clears throat> shoveling the card from your opponent's... Field or hand into the deck. So basically, like... <clears throat> into the deck and allows you... Allows you to have multiple plays. Plus, if you have the level one monster, the this guy on the field, it would have been that you can basically pay two hundred life points to negate all card effects from your opponent. So, basically, your opponent can't do nothing until your third turn. So then the. Yeah, and then the, yeah, so then the snake one is a, basically a, is a flip monster that if it's flipped, you can select one card from your opponent's field or graveyard to be shuffled into the deck. And the trap card allows you to basically negate a card on the field, and it has, it needs a level one monster, that one on the field to activate its effect of negation. And it summons, or basically, if it was a monster that. Or if it was a monster, you take control of it, and but if it was a card effect, it would be like the you shuffle it back into your opponent's deck. So yeah, now with that out of the way, the now we got Beast Donut Level One <clears throat> in a. Dark level one aqua effect monster with zero attack, zero defense, and now it's if it was normal summon or special summon. Sorry, you can select one card on the field. Um, or one card from your opponent's field or deck. Or graveyard, equip that selected monster card to your to this card, and this card gains that card's effects without a cost, and this card can't not be targeted by card effects or by battle. It basically your opponent, and if this if it if this card is sent to the grave, quick effect you can. Pay 100 life points, 
You also summon this card to your field in a defense mode. And if it was in the defense mode, then it will gain 200, or no, 2,000 defense points. You can, and plus you don't take damage, so basically you're safe. So then we got level two. <coughs> so the level two's effect is basically a, so it has, is a basically an upgraded version of level one, but this is level two, so dark. It's a dark level two monster. It's an aqua effect monster. And this card cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summoned by shuffling one beast donut level one from your field or hand into the deck. So, <coughs> its effects basically is, you can basically send two cards from your hand to the graveyard, including this card, special summon two donut monsters, or tokens, ones that are beast type monsters, and yeah. And on the field, um, and if if you do inflict one thousand damage to your opponent's life points, and if if your opponent, or if your tokens or toke or no, token or tokens, gets destroyed by battle or by card effects or by tributing, you can shovel this card into the deck. Special summon one level, or beast donut level one. Monster to your field in attack mode. If you do, then shuffle all cards from your opponent's hand and their field into the deck. So basically, it's it's a weaker version of the that cyber jar or not cyber jar. <clears throat> It's one of the jars cards that is bam that fiber jar I think yeah fiber jar it's weaker than that <laughs> cuz instead of shuffling the entire thing like your graveyard or hand yeah so and so it's that card's effect, basically, the that one that you saw was level two. And this is level three. I know it looks weird without a thing. And it has a effect of a... Because it inherits the... <coughs> Ash Blossom um's effect with Ghost Trick Wolf or Werewolf thing or War War Wolf or Um Let me go to here, let me go to here, let me do Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghost Trick Yeah. It was the Ghost Trick Werewolf or some. Here it is. Warwolf. This one. And so it, in it, it inherits that. And 
So the teeth that are here. So it has the teeth thing. That one of the war wolf. Oh. And the ash blossoms is cat ears. Ears are on each of his heads. And, yeah, so it inherits, like, the discard cost, basically. <clears throat> it also inherits the Warwolf's, like, I put if instead of when. If this card is flipped face up, inflict 100 damage to your opponent's side points. But for... I put 3,000 and damage to your opponent's side points. For each set card on the field, you can, yeah. So, yeah, and then, yeah. I'm going to actually save this card so that the, to make it easier for me. And the other one is Ash Blossom. If you guys don't know, what this card is, it's, it's a card that everyone uses in modern day. And this one is a hand trap, basically. Yeah. And I used the cat ears, the, like one on her top of her head thing. As the as the little ears cat ears for that and on you might be wondering what's on the sides of their heads is actually their because it they also inherit their werewolf part so the eye is way more sharp. Her. So, yeah. So, yeah. So then the, yeah. And you guys might be wondering what, what's with these wings, arm looking things. Well, these arms, arm wings thing, is actually from another monster. I'm sure, no, not that one. I meant... This one, it came from this card. So its arms became this guy's wings. Or like the wings of this became the arms of him. So, yeah, that's how he inherits the powers. <coughs> and then the, yeah. So then when he when I dueled again or when someone duels another guy the sword master of the thing was basically the the sword master of the you know when he gains that one, it became like this. this. So, this is level four. Because I already did number one, number two, who, and number three. Or, so, the four number two. I forgot to mention. Here, let's go back. Hmm? Oh, yeah. It was a guy's, or it was a person's fist. So the in this one right here, in compared to its number one, is that because the, in like a couple of days ago, I think, 
they, I dueled somebody and I took their like star twins Gemini and <coughs> and they just like logged off and I was like okay. So then that's how it has two heads instead of the usual one. And then the basically and that's how it evolved. Let me go back to number four because I already did number three. This was number three. Then number four this one inherits the also the discard like basically discards one and but if you guys want me to do a new one like a level five aim <coughs> aim let me know and yeah so the basically the yeah level four might be the strongest most broken one on because it needs requires level three to be special summon like how number two and number three was like basically number two needs number one to be shuffled into the deck number three. Needs number two to be shuffled into the deck. And then level four is basically a this card. Earn needs level three to be shuffled into the deck. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. So each one is like a, it's like a Frankenstein's monster. Getting fused and it's slowly getting infused, like how Arm Dragon level three turns into Arm Dragon level five, then into level seven, <coughs> and and yeah, well, but soon, soon the. I will find a, a suitable, like, warrior monster. Like, a card that, like, fused them together to create an ultimate monster. Yeah, and... <coughs> yeah, so if you guys want me to do that, let me know in the comments below. And each one. I know that each one of the monsters. Like level one. Gains. Like. It also has a built in effect of basically. It takes pieces of the monster. Or cards. Artworks. And fusing them into his own body. And making him stronger. Because. Yeah. I mean, it's like. The similar to what Rimuru had. Like basically he started out with a. With hardly knowing a gameplay. Like. Basically a rookie. Like a noob. And then. But then. He gr grew to be stronger and stronger. Basically. Yeah. To be at level like. What he is now in the anime. So. If you guys don't know. I usually watch that stuff. In my personal free time. So. Yeah. If you guys want me to do a. What if Zuku was or had the powers of Rimuru 
it would be the or yeah because I'm thinking about doing a what if him so yeah so this is just a custom card review so I'm not going to go deeply into it so yeah but do you like the how there's stages um my little guy becomes like this level 4 currently mm. and each one still has the same pink with a like crying eye anything and yeah so if you guys want me to do a so I'm gonna do how much time do I have? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'll just do one more of a custom card. I am gonna pick the um, um hmm. this one just for fun of it. Bobby, the player of the gamer life. It's a fire level four warrior tuner effect monster where each time yeah, it basically has a live twins and whatever. And if this card is or if you activate enemy controller spell card, you can shovel this card into from your hand into the deck. Take control of all. Car, all, take control of all of your opponent's monsters on their field. This card cannot be negated by Carfax. This card can is. Or if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can. And you control no other monsters. You can special summon one. And like basically her. Or like player two. Whom from your hand or deck. So basically, yeah. So then her effect goes off because she was special summon and does all this stuff. So, yeah. So, peace out, y'all. Peace. And if you guys want me to do a... I am still trying to, like, figure out some rules for my new, like, custom challenge... I might ask the Florentine Yu-Gi-Oh if if you're watching in this Florentine Yu-Gi-Oh or do the duel or the duel logs, please he's sign him or I will duel ya on dueling book. So yeah, so yeah. Peace out, y'all. Peace.